In today's video, we're going to look at why sometimes tape, if I pull it off the table, will repel each other. They're going to push away from each other. But if I put it on the table differently, I can now get those two pieces of tape to attract each other. What is going on? Well, follow the rest of this video and I'll show you exactly how I put them on the table and encourage you to try to explain why. Okay, to model this procedure for you, I'm going to use two pieces of paper. So here's one piece of paper. You see how it's hanging off a little bit so that I can put my finger here and the other piece of paper and they're gonna be side by side on the table and I'm gonna rip them both up at the same time and then bring them close together. And you'll see there's no interaction with the paper. I'm gonna do the same thing with some tape. Three inch pieces of tape side by side on the table. I'm going to rip them up at the same time and then bring them close to together. You see that they are pushing away from each other or repelling each other. Okay. In part two, what you're going to do is you're going to put down one piece of tape like before, so there's still space for your finger underneath, but you're going to take your second piece of tape and you're going to put it directly on top, but you're going to put your finger in between the two pieces of tape so that you kind of have like a little finger sandwich. Then I put, go like this and I'm going to pull both up off the table and then rip them apart. Okay, here are my two pieces of tape. Put one down, I'm going to put the other on top. I'm going to rip them both off the table and then I'm going to rip them apart from each other. I get them unstuck from my fingers and I bring the non-sticky sides together. We see a very different interaction that we saw before. This video can be used by teachers as an anchoring phenomenon. And um, if you want an explanation for what's happening, look in my other videos.